it's taken me like five ever to make this video. I got puppies. All right, be nice to each other. Cody, on your bed. Or on mine. Um, hello, welcome. My voice is going to be a little uh, terrible because I've been sick the last couple of days. Literally like a whole week I've been sick. Um, I know I've taken forever to make this video, but here it is for you guys. Um, throughout my whole transition and being on social media and doing YouTube um, and singing and everything, Everyone has wondered why I haven't been on testosterone. Is it because I'm a singer? Is it because I'm not ready? Uh, is it because I'm waiting for some reason? Everyone wants to know. So, I bring you the most honest video from my heart. Another story time. Another honest talk. It's hard to talk. It's like tiring. I'm gonna say that there's no specific, specific reason as to why I've held off on taking testosterone um it's just a bunch of different reasons that have kind of that have made me want to back away from it hey no party um i think the main thing at first was my voice yes i think that i was scared because i am a singer and i didn't want my voice to be destroyed and me not to be able to hit notes that i usually can or sing as well as I usually could. Um, but another big reason was my mental health. I didn't know how testosterone was going to affect me mentally. I don't necessarily think that kids and our trans youth are taking that in as much as they should. Um, I don't think that you should be hopping on testosterone right away if you're not mentally stable, just because it is a hormone. Hormones are emotions and I've seen some people get on testosterone and really plummet because of all the emotions and all the feelings and the puberty that you're going through is just a lot. Um, I am coming to a point based on my last video um, because of all the dysphoria I've been having, um, it's really pushing me closer to testosterone and making me, um, and I've been, thinking more and more about it. Um, I have gotten some voice euphoria being sick, to be honest. Um, I feel more masculine and I, things that I were, things that I was scared of going on testosterone, like the voice thing and to be honest, like the hairiness and in general, just not looking so clean um, are things that I want now because of my dysphoria, um, I, I want these things now. Um, I'm happy that I've taken my time. I don't think that, hold on, I need water. I don't think waiting years to get on testosterone is for everyone, um, but I do think that taking my time and finally getting to a point where I really, really want it is good for me. Um, because before I didn't feel the same. And I think that if I got on testosterone then, I wouldn't be happy with my changes. Not because I'm like wanting to detransition, just because I was happy with my masculinity at the time. Now I'm not so happy with it. It was coming to a point where I liked looking young and I liked looking clean. I still wanted to look masculine, but I just wanted to look like clean and a little younger. Um, but now, you know, that I'm 20, I, I don't think that I want to be looking like this at 20 years old. Like, I want to grow up. And um, I'm actually excited for testosterone. So, I don't know when I'm going to get on testosterone. I just wanted to post an honest video letting you guys know because it's been such a long wait. And now I'm finally talking about it and talking about how I want to get on it. Everyone's been a little confused. Um, and everyone's been asking why I've been waiting for so long. I will be keeping you guys updated, of course. If I do get on testosterone, you guys will see a video about it for sure. Um, I know that I am calling the doctor tomorrow to try to schedule an appointment. 
um so we're just gonna see like hopefully it's soon and i can just get right on it and everything will be dandy a update because some of you guys have been asking first off i just want to say the feedback on my last video um it really helped me like it really helped out my situation i didn't know how i was going to feel um seeing people's reactions on what i was saying but it turns out a lot of you guys were feeling the same way and a lot of you guys gave me really good advice and really good words of encouragement so i, I appreciate you guys for that um but a lot of you guys have been asking for an update on how I've been feeling. It's definitely been better. Um, I still cringe at some things. I still get a little uncomfortable at some things, but for the most part, I'm just trying to be as positive as possible, to be honest. I'm really trying to give myself the upper hand and um, just, trying to find the positive in the situation. It's hard and dysphoria is, there's no cure for it. And there's no exact advice I could give any of you guys to help you with your dysphoria. Um, but I definitely know talking about it has been one of the most helpful things for me, sharing my story with you guys and getting feedback and knowing that I'm not alone is pretty much what all of us want to hear. Um, so I really do appreciate you guys for that. I appreciate all the great feedback on my last video. Um, let me know what you guys think about the testosterone thing, whether or not you think waiting is a good idea, if you think waiting is a bad idea. I know waiting too long can be hard for someone's transition, but I want to know your guys' thoughts. Um, yeah, and based on y'all's feedback, I'll probably make another video about testosterone because I have a lot of thoughts, but I haven't really been able to juggle them all and get them all situated. Um, so based on what you guys say, I probably will make another video. Um, let me know in the comments more things you guys want me to talk about, any questions that you guys have. Um, I want to do more story times. I think that I'm just really good at being honest and I've always been really good at being honest it's easy um but yeah that's all for this video <laughs> i'm going to hop off um i want you guys to see the puppies hello these guys got dropped off at my doorstep they needed a place to stay for a little bit oh my gosh are you tired this is tostito pizza roll and this is Minnie. <laughs> And then we got big boy Cody up here, which Cody actually, um, I went to Maryland for Christmas and Cody went into daycare and I just picked him up today and he looks exhausted. <laughs> oh, sweet boys. I gave him a bath. He scratched up his nose a little bit in daycare. You guys can see it, but he's doing all right. He's a tough boy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he itchy. Um, all right, guys. That's all for this video. I think I'm probably going to go and rest. Um, try to get better. Uh, yeah. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for everything. And um, I just love you guys so much. I appreciate you. Goodbye. <laughs>